Hey guys, uh, this is Ali and uh, welcome to another tutorial for Cinema 4D R13 and um, uh, I was gonna make a preview actually or you might I might actually make a render and you might already seen it uh, which is a project metal or kind of or something kind of uh, hitting a wall of uh, metal and uh, kind of um, you know make some punches I guess or something like that and uh, in the wall and a pretty cool effect and I used uh, the new deformer in Cinema 4D and uh, I think you guys are gonna like this one as you can see if actually let me hit play I hope it's not gonna lag well hopefully anyway so uh, so the camera is zooming out and BAM on the wall another one and another one in the M which is, looks pretty cool you know with you know, maybe you can add some sound effect like you know something banging the wall or something like this or you know so yeah pretty cool effect uh, let's just jump ahead and try to recreate it so I'm just gonna start a new scene alright and first thing I'm gonna need is a plane alright uh, let's just uh, make a orientation to minus Z <clears throat> excuse me and let's resize it actually as we kind of want it to to fit the screen all right and bam that looks good uh, let's make the segment uh, segment to segment a segment to 25 all right that looks cool and let's create a sphere and let's resize it to be I don't know three maybe and take the segment to no, let's just make it zero and it's just gonna go to three I guess that's the less uh, segment you can do let's create a clone object and put the sphere a child of the clone object and go to clone object mode and change it to object and just drag the plane and bam here we have a bunch of spheres and it doesn't look good right I'm sure it doesn't look good and alright so I'm gonna load the texture I guess I'm gonna go to my material pack and let's find a metal texture metal metal we need a metal so I'm gonna go to my material pack and BAM and if you don't have my material pack you can buy it from my site uh, link gonna be in the description it's a designer material pack <clears throat> to have more than uh, 250 material so a pretty good deal for $35 hey what are you waiting for anyway so just gonna drag the polished steel uh, which is, looks pretty cool and I'm gonna do a render and BAM here we have wall of steel but I'm not liking the the specular on it but with some um, you know shadows and light and it's gonna look cool trust me I'm gonna add uh, a softbox from Grace Gorilla light kit regular softbox and I think now all looks decent hmm a bit dark right but we'll fix this uh, in a bit let's add the same material to the spheres alright that looks good select the material on the plane <clears throat> and make it seamless check seamless and change the projection to be cubic and I guess we good to go alright let's start make the magic happen right let's create a platonic uh, object alright let's center this and let's create if you go to your deformers uh, you should find it over here but mine is just right up there so I'll just click on it and make it a child of the, the plane select the, uh, the the collision deformer go to colliders and just drag um, your platonic object and right away it should you should see some um, something happen over here as you can see uh, the deform I guess starts to happen so let's select uh, let's create a camera a regular camera and switch on switch off and that's good so now we can rotate and we always gonna be you know in the right view when we go back to the camera view alright so let's zoom in 
select the platonic and now like if you look when you move it it's kind of looks like uh, if you hide, let's hide the platonic actually now it looks like something is just hit the wall up you know and made like a kind of uh, bend on it which is looks pretty cool all right let's create another soft box which is a regular soft box and now this is too bright or actually it looks pretty cool I guess you can see the metal uh, kind of uh, texture but but it's a bit uh, bit reflection a lot of reflection as you can see over here so we can go to reflection and just take take it down but here be good so let's do another render yeah that looks way reasonable that looks way better uh, I like as you can see here the metal kind of bent but still we need to do some adjustment and make it even better so let's select the colli the collision deformer and let's go to advance let's take the step and make it I guess to 60 and let's take the stretch and make it to 0 and the relax take it to 0 I guess the step make it to 6 I guess would be fine and now it looks more kind of something is punching the, uh, the metal wall uh, so let's do a render over here yep that looks way better because we don't want uh, what you call it the, the soft kind of uh, bending going on or or collision I want it to be like kind of sharp edges too so it looks like a metal so as you can see here it looks like it's it's gonna come off the wall which is, uh, looks pretty cool anyway let's, uh, let's create another uh, platonic and again we're just gonna copy the this collision tag just like control C control V and just put a child of the plane select it uh, let's actually, actually let's rename this to number two collision number two that'll be fine and the platonic let's just name it platonic number two I guess just add numbers yep let's select this one collider delete this one and add uh, platonic number two as you can see let's hide it and let's just move it to the left say about here be good and maybe in the top all right let's that's strange uh, it doesn't look like it's deforming much right um i guess we did something over here no we didn't oh i moved the wrong object that's why smart me all right let's move it over here and maybe resize it uh, get different kind of look let's go in the camera view and let's render this yep that looks good that looks good to me uh, maybe we'll hide the platonic from the editor uh, from the render view that looks pretty cool and I just wanna check one thing if it's deforming the right way I guess it's not so maybe move it something about here that'd be cool yep I guess we're good to go now <clears throat> let me show you how you can deform the attacks with the wall and the, uh, the same time which is also easy just select uh, your more text and, you know just align it to the middle uh, let's type in something I guess metal all right let's add some depth say 60 let's change the font <clears throat> and it's just gonna take a second to load Up here are fonts, and I'm gonna grab one called Wars War Machine or something. Yeah, War Machine. Pretty cool font. 
and we're just gonna <clears throat> do some you know uh, setting over here we don't need caps because caps sometimes can, uh, can affect uh, the look of your text and you, you will see what I mean in a bit and let's change the type uh, to uh, quiet angles and check a grid and let's go to object and change the intermediate point to be subdivision and let's add subdivision say about six that looks good drag it under the plane and bam here you have the bend over here going on <clears throat> easy as that so let's just uh, drag our text a bit down say somewhere about here that looks good let's do a render now it's really hard to read uh, I guess the text uh, we need to drag it a bit to the front it's kinda in the center or on the back of the plane so we can just drag it to the front a bit yeah somewhere about here would be cool yeah actually maybe drag it a bit to the back alright that looks cool alright let's do a render now as you can see how it's actually it looks like it's bending uh, like something hit the, uh, the wall and bend the text and the wall a uh, pretty cool effect you can do with this collision uh, deformer and I thought you know why not make something really that uh, you guys gonna like it and I got a pretty interesting a fact going on over here all right so other let's add another collision in the L over here another collision deformer so let's create a new one I guess and let's rename this number three and just drag it under the plane let's create another platonic and make it oh, actually let's rename it first and let's rename this Number, th number three, bam, easy as that. Go to collider, drag number three, and height the deformer. I mean the platonic from the editor view and the render view, and just drag it to the right. Oh, sorry, always happen. And bam, easy as that. Maybe we make this one to be down over here, somewhere about here. Yeah, something about here would be good. Alright, let's zoom in. Not that much. And let's make a render. It's a bit dark, I think, on the, the right side. But we can fix this with some uh, lighting and make it look, make it stand out, I guess. That looks pretty cool. I like I like the look of this one. All right, so I guess uh, we almost done. We just need to do some keyframing, and we'll be good to go. So let's make the timeline to 150, which is about five seconds, and let's go to frame 60, and select the first collision, and go to. It's not advanced. It's fall off and if you change the weight if you take it to zero as you can see the middle bend over here our collision we kind of go so we can keyframe these values and get pretty interesting effect so that's exactly what we're gonna do now so add a keyframe at zero and move about uh, say 10 keyframes and bam make it to go to 100 and then we're gonna select we're gonna go more actually frame 90 yeah about frame 90 select the second one take the weight to zero and add a keyframe move 10 keyframes and bam 100% add another keyframe select the third one move to 150 uh, 120 Again, take it to zero, the weight, and add a keyframe. Move 10 keyframes. And take it to 100%. Bam, easy as that. Let's uh, rewind, hit play.
bam here's the first collision bam the second one and bam the third one all right you know in the editor view uh, here you can see it it's pretty slow the bend but when you do the render and you take it to after effect and you see you gonna notice it's so fast and anyway you can control the speed of your video in after effect or sony vegas or whatever you know editing software that you're using uh one more thing i just want to just notice is the the bend over here on the l so i'm gonna go check this yeah because you see it's bending the wrong way so we're gonna select the platonic and just drag it to the back like so yep that'll be good and now it's been the right place and maybe drag it up a bit yeah something like this and resize it alright that looks good that looks good and I guess we get to go we get to go for sure a pretty cool effect so I guess we're done from the Cinema 4D part and uh, if you guys want to see the I guess um, or how to edit it and uh, after effect just let me know you know leave a comment thumbs up and uh, I'll make the after effect part for you anyway guys thanks for watching and hope you like this project metal pretty simple pretty easy but hey effective I guess uh, anyway thanks for watching and peace